Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Corny Richards. If this is your first video uh, that you're watching on my channel, welcome. Uh, we are going to be talking about a changing station. So as I'm preparing for a new baby in about 20 weeks time, <laughs> I am just going back to basics on things that I thought was necessary for a changing station and things that I actually needed. Um, so I have little Celine with me. <laughs> she didn't want to sleep this morning. She's changing naps. She's currently 14 months old. So I am a seasoned nappy changer. She, um, yeah, so everything that I learned, I learned thanks to her. <laughs> so let's get to it. So I have a changing station here in her room. I hope you can see it. <laughs> uh, I'm not using a tripod for this video. Okay, so very important things that I need in a changing station. Obviously your changing mat. I used, um, I have a pack and play joy camping cot that I bought and I got um, one of those things that you fit on top of the cot, I will try to add a picture of it, um, that I used for the first pretty much nine months until she grew out of it, or she, um, yes, she grew out of it but also weight wise because it's only up to 11 kilograms, so she was about 11 kilograms I think nine, ten months. Um, so we used that in the beginning. We literally didn't have a changing station. As you can see, this one is nice and high. Um, I am a tall, I am a tall woman. So it's really nice to finally have a changing station that I'm not breaking my back on. Because we used our dining table. <laughs> it sounds weird, but we used our dining table in the beginning, and it was totally sufficient. And then we moved to a desk in her room but it's just a little bit too low every time it was like a struggle and when she rolls around you don't want to be breaking your back so this one is ideal i got it off clever little monkey in south africa and it came in boxes and i put it together so it was literally as easy as that it's got three drawers But very, very important to have, um, very, very important to have is water. So I use cloth wipes just because she's rather sensitive to um, wet wipes and yeah, to help the environment. Wet wipes are actually pretty bad for the environment. So, but no judging if you are using um, normal wet wipes. I just prefer the cloth because they just clean up so much better. They really, really do. So I've got my cloth wipes and I've got my water. Obviously now with a toddler, I use a spray bottle. It works much better, but she's run off with it somewhere. So I just wet my, my cloth with, my, with the spray bottle or I dip it in the water and I clean her bum and that goes in the washing machine. Uh, well, I rinse it out first and then it goes in the washing machine. Then I've got my bum balm. I use the Bake Yourself Bum Balm. Um, it's like beeswax and olive oil and it's natural and um, I just, I, I really like it. Um, and also it's cloth nappy safe. So for a mom that uses cloth nappies, this is amazing. You can also order it online and um, there are tons of South Africans all over the world. So don't feel like it's inaccessible. And then I have her cream that I put on daily, usually after a bath. It's the only natural aqueous cream. It's amazing and I can totally recommend it. So that's what I have on her changing station. And then I always have my snappy. But another really important thing is that I found out way too late was a hairdryer. Oh, it's stuck was a hairdryer. To have a hairdryer close to your changing station, it just helps to dry her bum so much quicker, especially if you're using water, but, but also with wet wipes, because while, when she was two years old, 
from turning them around. When she was two weeks old, two years, when she was two weeks old, she got such a bad nappy rash. And it, it was because, well, first time mommy errors, but I wasn't drying her bum, bum properly. So I was putting on the plastic nappy, like a disposable nappy, after just wiping her bum and um, the perfume in the wet wipe in combination with a wet bum closed off in a non-breathable nappy was horrendous. It took us about a week to get rid of the rash and she was two weeks, three weeks old. So I then got the idea uh, from a friend to use a hairdryer and it has saved me ever since. Even now getting out of the bath is so nice because I just to dry her whole body with the hairdryer and she still loves it. So it's it's great. I mean, if you're going to use a hairdryer for her anyway, you might just use it for her bum. <laughs> so it's a really good trick and it's one of the best tricks that anyone's ever taught me because I haven't had a brush since. Like, that's how amazing it works. And also with cloth nappies, they breathe much better. So when I am out and about, I pat her bum dry as much as I can, but I know the nappy will breathe a bit. But if you are using disposables, make sure the baby's bum is dry before you put on the new nappy. It is so important. Um, you don't want to have nasty rashes and have to put on creams. And I can just imagine how uncomfortable that rash must be. So that is my number one tip for a changing station. But that's it, I think, for a changing station. A lot of mums also use towels close by. Um, I will definitely add a stack of towels onto my changing station since um, when Baba is, um, well, since, well, from the beginning. Um, so I will just add some towels because as you take the nappy off, it's like, wee! <laughs> and then you need to dry up everything. Oh, and also, it's really nice that I can remove this cover. I actually got this changing pad from Ikea, and I can remove the cover and wash it. So, if you are buying a changing, changing mat, make sure that the cover is removable easily, and you can wash it. Um, Most people like to have two or three covers. I totally recommend that. I only bought one because <laughs> she was already a couple of months older um, before I found out I was pregnant again. So I don't have an extra cover. So when this one is in the wash, I just, um, I just put a towel over and it's totally sufficient. So yes, I hope you like my tips on um, a changing station. Oh yes, and a lot of people, um, I, I read a bunch of stuff on Pinterest saying, oh, you'll, you need multiple changing stations all over your house or like little baskets. And I tried that in the beginning and I literally, I just can't come to my changing station, my changing table every time I don't change her all over the house. So it's um, a much of a muchness, whichever you prefer, maybe you can have an extra one if you're in a double story house or building, then maybe have one downstairs just in case. But I walk upstairs and I change her here because everything is ready for her here. Um, yeah, so that's it for this video. Thank you so much for watching. If you do like my tips, please give it a thumbs up, a like, and um, yeah, I hope to see you all on my channel again soon. Have a lovely day, everyone. Bye!